name is Devin Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to set a city on fire with After Effects. Overall it's just a really cool effect, it can be used in music videos or skits or any other project that you're working on that needs a city to be set on fire for. Today we'll just be creating a very basic and simple version of this and of course you can add on to it and add it and customize it to your own liking. I'll be linking down below to a couple fire and smoke presets that you can use for this effect. But before you get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it'd really mean a lot if you guys could. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. Alright guys, so now that we are finally in After Effects, of course you're going to want to have your footage loaded in. So right here I have a you know nice little drone shot of downtown LA. So the first thing we'll be doing is we are going to come over here to the tracker and we are going to hit track camera. Now what this will basically do is this is going to analyze the entire scene. After Effects is going to analyze the whole scene uh, for you know 3D space and it's going to create an entire virtual um, 3D space within this clip. So you can see it is it is rendering over here so we will wait and speed this up. And now that you can see once After Effects is finally done rendering we have a whole bunch of colorful, I like to call them the 3D flowers. Now this basically if you run your mouse or your cursor around you can see this red gold target and this basically represents all the different 3D spaces that are going on here. So our goal for this project is we are trying to destroy the city. Um, so what we're basically going to be needing are a couple of assets. Now over here in this project file, I have a whole bunch of different file settings that I have a whole bunch of different file overlays that I all downloaded off of Motionary and Envato Elements. This is no ad or sponsorship for them. I actually tried to get a sponsorship from them, but um, getting on their affiliate program is pretty difficult. So I am just going to be you know, telling you guys, subscribe to Envato Elements or Motion Array, they're, they're great asset service provider. Or if not, you can just search up on YouTube, fire overlay, smoke overlay, burning destruction overlay. And I'm pretty sure you can find a great number of free green screen you know, YouTube resources. So without further ado, we are going to be creating our first track point. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find a surface of something that we wanna manipulate. So I'm going to come over here. I want to pretty much, let's see, let's say I want to give this building right here a nice little crack in the side. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hit create solid and camera. Now for the first square, you're gonna to have to create a camera because there is no 3D camera for After Effects to have a perspective of what you're editing. Now you're going to see we have two new layers, a 3D tracker camera, which you pretty much don't have to touch. Just leave it alone. And then we have a track solid one right here. And you can see it created this blue square. And now if we play this video, you can see that this blue scare square is tracked all the way to this building as if we're actually on the building. We don't want the blue square here. What we're going to do is we are going to pre-compose this. So we are going to pre-compose the square and we're gonna call this destruction. Now this is gonna be a repetitive process that we're gonna be doing for a lot of the other aspects. So before we dive into adding the destruction and all the detail, we're just gonna add a couple more squares and assets that we can track around the city. So kind of have a mind of what you're gonna to wanna to do. So I'm gonna come over here and if you don't see these 3D flowers anymore to add any more trackers, you can just come back to the effects over here, click on the 3D tracker to remind it that we're working with the 3D tracker and you should see the points again. So let's say over here this building, or let's do this building right here. Let's add some fire right here. Now you can see we can just create a solid without having to create a camera because the camera is already there. So we're going to hit create solid and now you can see we made another solid. We're going to pre-compose this one and we are going to call this fire. And now you can see what we're doing. We're just kind of going around and just creating uh, solids of all the assets that we want to add to the city. Let's say I might want to add some smoke around around here let's add some smoke here so I will hit create another solid and you can see if if the squares are not 100% oriented to the uh, building we can of course obviously fix that as long as they're tracked and they are you know they look like they're a part of that object or building that we are tracking then you know we have a pretty good reference point I'm only going to create three points right here just for the sake of rendering because this is not the first time I recorded this video after After Effects crashed on me and also one last thing I forgot to mention is yeah we have to pre-compose this last one as well so I'm going to be calling this one pre-composing it right clicking and hit calling it smoke yeah remember to pre-compose all the little squares that we create now you can see we have a nice little array of, of three different assets going on right here one thing um, I, I like to I like to color code as well so I'm just going to 
color code done. Blue for fire, red for destruction, and green for smoke. And now what we'll be doing is we will be adding the assets. What we're first gonna do is we're gonna come over here to this destruction one. We're gonna add the destruction first. We're gonna double click on this pre-compose. And now you can see we have this blue square screen. And this is pretty much the square of the blue screen that we're viewing on the, on the city. Now you can see we have two sequences, a destruction one and a city destroyed one. This is the main comp and this is the, the, the blue square. We don't need this blue square. So we can go ahead and delete it. We are going to come over here to the project panel and now we are going to add some assets. I have some destruction damage uh, PNG thing that I downloaded from, uh, I think it was Video Copilot, but you can just search up damage PNG transparent on Google and I'm pretty sure you'll find some stuff. We're gonna go ahead and just pretty much add this here, make sure it's just all in frame. And then we can come back here to our city. Now, if we click away, we can see we have a we have a tiny little, like, what is this? That's the destruction, yay, we added it. But uh, that, that obviously is horrible. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this, uh, the destruction panel, make sure you're selected on it. I'm gonna zoom in each to get my hand tool and drag around, V to get my cursor again. And I'm just going to scale this out a bit. Make sure this is a good proportion. Now you can see if this proportion, the perspective is off, we can obviously go ahead and just rotate this around so that it fits what um, our view and our perspective of it should be. And then we can just go ahead and just mess around with the, with the length and width. I'm gonna have that right around here. And now you can see if we play this video, I'm sorry, it's all grainy. That's just saving me the rendering time. It looks like it's pretty tracked onto the building. But of course, that doesn't look completely authentic. It's just like really stand out. We will be blending it. So we'll be coming over here to the blend mode and we'll be changing this normal to dissolve. And that kind of helped a little bit, but the main effort is gonna come from the coloring. We're gonna come over here to effects and presets, apply Lumetri color and drag that to our destruction. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to basic color correction and I'm just gonna turn these all the way uh, up. I'm just pretty much trying to match the lighting of the scene over here. But of course you can go ahead and of course just like mess around with these settings more so later on your own time. And if we zoom out, voila, we have a nice hole in our building right here. Moving on to our fire. We're gonna come over here to the fire pre-comp just like we did with our construction, double click on it. And now you can see we have that blue square again. Once again, delete it, we don't need it. Then we're gonna come over here to the project and panel and we're going to drag in a fire loop. So I have this blazing fire loop that I downloaded off of Envato Elements. Actually, my bad, take that back, it was motion ray. Just really great aspects overall. You can see it's a nice high quality file of just some transparent fire burning. This really helps get this effect done. We're gonna come back over here to the city destruction. Now you can see we have a tiny little fire in the corner all the way over here. What we're gonna do over here like we did with the destruction is we're going to scale this up, hold shift and drag. And then I'm just going to drag this over here to this nice little area. And now you can see the perspective is pretty much on point right here. We have a nice little little perspective of some fire. And then what I'm gonna do, just because this doesn't, although it's transparent, it doesn't look 100% accurate, I am going to change the blend mode here to a brown, let's do screen. And that honestly gets the job done pretty much. That is, that is honestly like the perfect lighting that we're looking for as if something was on fire there. I might even add some glow effect over here just to the fire to make sure, you know, it's a little bit more authentic in terms of, you know, the glow that we would, we would witness from a fire just burning a building down. And now you can see we have a nice fire going on here with a destroyed building and some smoke. And lastly, for our third green square, let's add some more smoke. We're gonna come over here like we did for all the rest, double click, delete the square, come here to our project panel, and we are going to import some smoke. I have some smoke smoke assets right here. I'm just going to scale this down. There we go. We have a nice looking smoke file going on right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to import this into our destroyed city once again. Now you can see it's really tiny again. We're just going to zoom in so we can get a better view of this. Man, this one is really tiny. We are going to scale this up and then we're just going to change the perspective so it matches the building that we are affecting. Yes, this is my school district building actually. So <laughs> good thing that they burn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is a joke. That is a joke. We're going to come over here first because all the smoke is transparent. 
I'm gonna try to first take down the opacity, see if that helps it make it look a little bit better. If not, we'll change the blending mode. Honestly, I think it looks pretty great. And now you can see we have a nice little array of some destroyed elements of the city. This school district building over here burning up, this building over here with the hole and this other building on fire. Now, the point of this effect is to, you know, continue to add these effects. So you can simply achieve this by just clicking one of these items that you wish to duplicate hit command D, it will create another version of it. And then you can just drag that around the, the rest of the city. Now you, you might have some issues with tracking because you are tracking this building. So there might be some little um, distortions of the 3D tracking depending on how you know similar the 3D tracks are. But you know, if the differences are super minor, then you could achieve a similar look without anybody noticing. For the sake of this effect and for the sake of my tutorial and my computer, <laughs> I will only leave it at three for now, but like I said, you can go ahead and add more. The goal is to add more, continue to add on to this effect. Lastly, to tamper up the sky. We're gonna come over here to our effects and presets and type up tint. We're gonna take this and apply this to our drone footage layer. And then we are going to set the bottom, the matte to black layer to like around a dark reddish color. And then we're going to set the matte to white to around a lightish orange color. See how that impacts the scene. And now you can see we have a nice little looking orange, orangish scene right here. It really looks apocalyptic and chaotic. Of course, this, this looks really trash. So we're just gonna change this amount down all the way to about like 37 honestly works. And that just kind of, you know, matches, helps match the color grading. As you can see, some of these assets are over this tint, so they're not fully matched to this orange color grading, but you can apply this tint in an adjustment layer, or you can just apply some direct color grades to the assets themselves. Lastly, to really type this effect, or what I think and I would personally do, this is totally preference, you don't have to do this. Let's add some helicopters. It can't be a apocalypse without some helicopters. I have a green screen helicopter that I downloaded right here. This is just a still image, but I am going to make them really small, so nobody will see, nobody will know. I'm going to add a key light effect to get rid of the green right here. And then I will also add a Lumetri color over here just to match some of the color gain. So I'm just gonna turn this exposure a little bit down, the contrast really low to match that, that fade. And then I might add some fade faded film itself. There we go, we have a nice helicopter. Drag one of the scales and hold shift to scale it down. And then I'm just going to take this helicopter and put it all the way over here in the sky. And there you can see we have a nice little helicopter in the sky right there. I'm going to animate a path for our helicopter starting our playhead at the very beginning and then clicking their position keyframe and then moving all the way to the end and then increasing that position so that it moves in a linear path forward. Now you can see we have a nice helicopter flying in the distance and I will just duplicate that and rearrange the keyframes over here on the second helicopter so that now we have two helicopters flying. And there we have it folks, a very, very simple destruction tutorial to destroy your city. Like I said, add to this. This is this is totally not finished. This is a draft version, but I'm just teaching you guys how you can apply these effects. Add your own elements, add them in your style, add them wherever you want. Create this destroyed city, your destroyed city, and make it unique to your own taste. But here is the final version that I added into fully myself. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you again so much for watching. I hope at the end of this, you can walk away with the effect that you can apply for your future projects. Also, if you guys made something cool, please make sure to add us on Instagram at 11%prod. We'd love to see what you guys create. If you haven't yet, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on for future updates on tutorials like this. It'd really mean a lot if you guys could. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.